So, I think the most important, why not Finland in DLC? Should we start with that? Yes. N nothing else. No. Why no Finland? Um, because we, had to <laughs> we have to pick a couple of nations when we make a DLC about a bunch of nations, right? And uh, while Finland fits the theme, and I hope, let's just assume everybody <laughs> knows what the theme is, right? Um, Death for Dishonor, which is, we're focusing on nations that are trapped between, you know, the giants in Europe, um, Germany, and the Soviet Union, basically. And also, a, bit, a little bit of the allies tampering with everybody. Um, and <laughs> it makes a lot more sense to focus on the countries that we have, which is Hungary, Romania, Yugoslavia, Czechoslovakia, because they're all basically together in a chunk, and it makes it very easy to make events and things to actually interact between them. See yeah. how perfect you got to describe the entire DLC without me actually asking, yeah, I know. describe the DLC. Yeah. I, so, but, um, by the way, I would love to do Finland, but I feel it fits better into a Scandinavian focus one. And uh, if Gabriel was here, he would say, it should be called the Swedish War Profiteering DLC, <laughs> and he'll be wrong. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the stream yes. right now and look at this sweet, sweet, yeah. sweet picture. I, I love this one. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. <laughs> the... Uh, the strange, strange ownership of the panther. The, the only thing I've seen, like, he's, like, super serious. Another guy super serious. And he, this guy, he said, I'm getting out of here. Just walking away. Well, it's exploding. <laughs> yeah. no. the, point, the point of this one is sort of a little bit to set the theme. Um, we wanted to feel like you're in a tough spot. And we also wanted to kind of highlight something that could have happened, but didn't. So you have the Romanians f f fighting Hungary here in the mountains using lend lease equipment from, uh, or license production, perhaps. From Germany? From Germany, yeah. All right, cool. But Let's, um, let's jump in. Yes. Yeah. So, so we're going um, to be playing uh, Romania today. And this is like super, super hot code. In fact, the, the, <laughs> the hot level of this code is about, I don't know, third degree burns. Because we, we, edit, we, we totally. edited the code locally on the streaming machine like <laughs> totally. five minutes ago. Because it was crashing. Actually, <laughs> just two minutes ago. Yeah. So, come on, work. Okay, it seems to working. Yeah. So, if anything's Excellent. broken, it's Daniel's fault. Because yes. it's QA. And um, should we mention the first thing we should never press? Oh yeah, so there's a little bit of a special restriction on poor Daniel this time. Um, one, one of the big parts we're going to be doing for the, the Oak patch is we're going to be revamping uh, the air system quite a bit. And this is something people have been asking for basically since release. And uh, which is super good for me because uh, I also, also wanted to do it. And, uh, but uh, a lot of those interfaces and things aren't quite ready yet. Uh, so to prevent Daniel from accidentally clicking, I've actually I've blocked the button on this computer. So yeah, let's not click try it. Yes, yeah, let's not try it. Um, anyway, um, if he accidentally opens it up, he'll, he'll close it again. But <laughs> Hashtag blame Daniel. Um, this means that he can't really <laughs> use airplanes. So we're going to have to design divisions to have some anti-air and stuff. Because the AI is going to be using it against you. Yeah. So, so you probably think, think of some anti-air support. <laughs> Anyway, um, uh, I think the first thing, since this is country pack DLC, yeah. as we call it, um, why not look at this? Oh, first spirits. Story. First spirits. Go back to. Oh, first spirit. Oh, right, first. Spirit. Yeah, yeah. We want to. <laughs> we we want to highlight the nation here first, right? Yes. Um, so there are two things uh, going on with Romania. There's a lot of things going on with Romania, but two things that are sort of already here, and one of them is uh, the king. The party king, as the part, uh, yes, the, <laughs> the, they call him the party king. Um, apparently, there was a party baron in CK2. Um, <laughs> king Carol was maybe not the most beloved monarch, and he had some affairs and things going on. I think in the end, he actually ran off with his mistress to Switzerland with most of the <laughs> money in the country <laughs> bank. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so a lot uh, part of the tree. Uh, it's about handling the king. What to do with him, get him in line, <laughs> throw him out, uh, to, uh, <laughs> replace him. But that we can't do that. No. I want a king. So I have one restriction. You have to keep the king around for a while at least. <laughs> Why uh, do I have a feeling like all my part popularity is going <laughs> to disappear? Well, he, has, he does have some, some advantages though. Maybe they're I coming later. Uh, but yeah, so um, so, that, so that's the one spirit. The other spirit is neutrality, yeah. I believe. Yes, yeah, neutral policy. So just a hands up to everyone. I have played very little with this stuff. So uh, 
I'm not gonna be my click maniac away all the events no. and stuff like that because I don't know them. Yeah. I don't know what the bonuses and stuff, bonuses and not are. So I will actually have to read everything and, uh, well, actually yeah. talk about it. We're also stuff. going to be continuing the session next time. Yes. Um, so two hours at least. At least we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yes. Um, but we'll go slow and we'll discuss. So the focus tree. So the first part of it. You uh, can do I have any quick? Yeah. I guess any? we can't talk about release. Uh, there is no release date yet. Uh, that's uh, the the one question I can't answer. Although clever people are sure to be able to figure it out based on content and how often we do diaries. Yeah. Um, Austrian yeah. tree. Austria. Um, Why are they get, not in this? They because also, they're kind of very. They actually would fit. Um, the thing is, they're even earlier. Um, so, so there's uh, first prevents. of all, like there's a there's a limit. Yeah, there's a limit <coughs> to how many nations you could do in the focus tree. We're only human, and like they take quite a while to do. Yeah. Um, to do, especially like with all the intricacies and stuff like that. So, yes, they're in a very similar situation as the Czechs. The problem is that they join quite early, so it's very hard to get the options that actually are plausible in there for you, for you to be yeah. able to change your the direction. And also, not many people stepped in to try and do anything about it, unlike with Czechoslovakia and stuff like that. So it's less interesting situation. So that's why we went with uh, these yeah. four nations. Anyway, now, finally, get into the focus tree. Also, of course, as, as Hungary, you know, if there's Austria, how can you make Austria Hungary? Yeah, of course. Uh, so, the first part of the Romanian yeah. tree. Yeah, the, the, the big choice. Romania. Exactly. So Romania is in a position where basically everybody around them are going to be arguing for border changes. So a deal with the devil, communist, yeah. trade treaty with Germany, yep. Germany, renew Romanian Polish ally. Oh, I thought this was going to be the ally one. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah, it is the ally yeah. one. But yeah, renew the Romanian Polish alliance. Mm -hmm. Cool. And here we have a couple of foreign peasant militia, Romanian volunteer brigades. So basically getting. More friendly with the common turn. Exactly. Uh, if you go the German path, well, you become more friendly with German. Yeah, you get, get advisor, some, uh, better license. Uh, actually, oh, yeah. I noticed none of these are restricted to each other. You can actually do all of them. Yeah, so this is a little bit of a special one. Romania actually switched sides, arguably, several times. Um, so we kind of wanted to capture some of this. Uh, so you're not specifically locked into a path. You can actually change your mind, which means that, especially in multiplayer, uh, you'll keep people guessing and you can actually get this kind of interplay where you, you're play, playing the sides for benefits. I have a feeling that if you do that in multiplayer, you just get killed by one side. It's like, should yeah. we split them up? Okay, we'll split them up. I don't know, Romania can go to be pretty strong. Yeah, And then we have um, here in the middle, it seems to be industry focused. Yeah. So this this is a shared one between the, the big blocks. and. Uh, um, We'll be showing uh, license stuff, maybe perhaps later, I feel like. Yeah, a bit uh, later. Yeah. Well, when there is some sweet stuff to license. Yes. And, but here we have Balkan dominance. Yes. I like the word of it. Yeah. So this is about kind of going your own path and growing by uh, sort of threatening, uh, going with uh, diplomacy and stuff like that oh. and building up. They yeah. actually have some severe manpower restrictions. Yes. Uh, because these are, these are, these are uh, you know, you're actually putting pressure on neighbors here to, to kind of join in. Mm. So it's almost like the Anschluss or something so like that. So we need at least 100. So you're gonna have to, yeah. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have to build up your your army quite a bit yeah. for for these. Uh, I would so you can't do them straight off the bat. Yeah, I would definitely need more recruitable population to be able to do any of them. Yes, Sensei. you will probably want to anyway to have a stronger position in yes. a lot of the. Um, yeah, um, and then, then we have institute royal dictatorship. Yeah, I'm pretty sh certain you want me to go this path. You, <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is one of those sort of no-brainer choices <laughs> because it removes your non-aligned thing. Oh, oh um, yeah, we need to. Yeah, and you get some political power, and you actually get the uh, the, the king takes over, right? And he has yeah. does actually, uh, aside from his partying and stuff, he does have some nice stuff. He lets you fill up the the cabinet cheaper. Uh, it's a new kind of cool thing where he actually gets cheaper. Uh, um, cheaper costs for all the cabinet positioning. Um, uh, yes, for everyone who just joined, just a big reminder, this is very much hot code. S Stuff yes. may be missing, descriptions might be weird, spelling, yeah. the whatever. King, the king may never stop partying, who knows? Like I said, we, or like we said, we updated this two minutes before going live. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it feels like we're back at release mode when we talked about how hot the code was. It, it's uh, it's third degree burns. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, so here we can actually switch out the party king. I want to do that. I want the party king. Yeah, th this is sort of your er your uh, kind of emergency if you just want to coup. Yeah. Uh, so we can uh, revise the constitution, fortify borders, his yeah. majesty loyal government, um, yeah. militarize the sentinels, our yeah, parties the, must his, end. The, the fortify the borders one was actually something historically done, but it was done as a uh, scam, basically. Oh. Uh, whereas uh, they were going to fortify the borders, but the king, I believe, took all the money for parting <laughs> and, and <coughs> buying random stuff instead. Come uh, on, king. <laughs> <laughs> no, we which don't is, do that. Which is why, if you look at the bonuses <laughs> for this, um, you don't actually get any forts. No. You, you get bonuses for building them. <laughs> so, like, all the plans were laid out. Okay, who's gonna pay for it? Oh. Yeah, the king just ran away with all the money. Having forts, though, is can be quite good with all these strong yes. neighbors. Otherwise, we have flexible foreign policy. Yeah, I'm very flexible. We can. Yeah, which is mutually exclusive to going doubling down on the monarchy. Uh, Otherwise, we have basically the same thing here. Appoint Soviet friendly, Axis friendly, and Allied friendly. Yep. Um, handle the king or force abdicate. Yeah, so ev eventually all of these things lead to handling the king in some way. So, uh, so that he becomes a more productive monarch, <laughs> either by getting rid of him, yeah. or uh, uh, you can look at the old parties must end as well. I really like the icons for them. They're like this crushed crown yeah, or cool. locked down. A lot of these new nations have a whole bunch of monarchy things, so we actually uh, made sure we made a couple of new icons. No party lasts forever. Current geopolitical situation requires king undivided attention. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. And then on the far right here, we have, as usual, an air focus, army focus, and navy focus. Yeah. There was a question if we were inspired by Hungarian flavor mods. We do generally look around for mods, uh, but quite often they, you know, they go in a totally different direction because we usually try to build f trees around some new features or something like that. Uh, so we do generally look through them. And I was talking to some modders before and stuff like that, but we try to kind of do our own thing so they actually feel different as well. Uh, also, uh, we might... Uh, get more detailed questions on that when we get to Hungary. Yes. Today's Romania. Um, should we begin? Yeah. All right. Um, let's do... Which, which focus? Uh, all right. First, New maybe? icons here. Have we shown that? Maybe not. Yeah, we have... Uh, oh. So there's a whole set of, set of custom... Custom tanks. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a fantastic super heavy tank <laughs> that is totally unhistorical. <laughs> Um, that Marisol one, which is the 43 Heavy, though, is a kind of a kind of a cool project that was actually in the works. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Um, don't we have more stuff right here too? Yes. There was a question in the chat, uh, and yes, the the DLC is part of the season pass, so you um, get it for free if you have the season pass. Well, I will at least start as normal, yeah, st even start though, off in even though I'm not allowed to do well. Air Force stuff. Yeah. Well, that's actually one good thing about it. I don't have to do any focus well, right here. You do have to show off the really neat IAR uh, planes, though, which I love. The the um, the Romanians have some really nice planes. This. Oh, this baby here, in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, Romania made some good planes. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. What kind of focus will I go then? I'm Pick thinking. It, I think it might it might be good to do superior firepower because then I can improve basically line artillery and stuff like that. But I still think I m will need the manpower for it. So I'm basically thinking may e either mass assault doctrine yeah. or it depends warfare. a little bit what you go direction wise as well when yeah. you get manpower in the tree. I think I might actually have to need armor if depending on how long we actually will play this, mm. depending on how long I can actually reach. Yeah. But Depending, since we seem to have quite limited manpower, I might have to go very heavy on armor. So I think we'll go Let's down mobile warfare. I, th I think we should be, uh, we should try and license some some up to date yeah. German stuff later. Exactly. As well. So let's go down mobile tree and yeah. see if we can get that. And let's see what. Actually, let's ask the chat for this. Yeah. Um, so Balkan dominance or preserve Greater Romania? Which I already know which one they're going to join pick. a faction or Romania strong. Will they be strong? Yes, uh, meanwhile, I'm just going to set up some military... Oh, no, I'm not going to... Oh, 
60%, I don't really want to... Ugh, okay, let's build one factory right there. Yeah. And then I'm actually gonna... Let's double check... <laughs> Vulcan's dominance. <Strong. laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, <laughs> yeah, it seems like there, none of these areas one are really good. one person who wants... Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, it, it's quite heavily... Uh, Vulcan, 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 Vulcan. Yeah, alright. So we'll go down Vulcan dominance. I guess we can preserve oh, Great the Romania through... Uh, through force of arms. Yes. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna deploy my troops a bit, like against these borders, yeah. just for the sake of it. I'm not really gonna use anything right there. And uh, let's see. Currently, we're missing quite a bit of equipment. Our you have to assign one of the new fancy generals. Yes, but first, I'm actually gonna fix everything. Ah, okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Um, we probably need to do something like this just to be be able to get everything. We're producing light tanks. Alright, well, um, no, we're not producing light tanks, we are producing more artillery. Ah, no! Yeah. Well, we set no, up, we I, can, uh, I, I can answer a couple of questions. So, so people have been asking which countries are getting new focus trees. And uh, may maybe we can have uh, t Team Stream have put on a link to the dev diary, but, um, or the announcement. But it's, um, it's a little bit of a Balkan focus. It's uh, Romania, Hungary, Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia. And they're gonna be the ones that get completely new trees fleshed out. Ah. And uh, the theme is basically nations kind of trapped between Germany and the Soviet Union. And the dipl diplomacy. All right, we there. have one single tank division. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm actually they, gonna they hear our voice. They have the. What? The oh. They have cool, so cool sound here as well. Uh, they have voiceovers as well. I didn't know that. No, it's, they're pretty awesome. I hope they you can hear them on the stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, all right, then let's just begin. A bit faster, as usual. Yes. Oh. oh, here we go. So, the first, King Mistress. <laughs> yeah, you actually have to read the events now. Because Come on, that know. was five days into the game. Yeah. I, it, all I know about these events is basically <laughs> they are bad. And we well, got one of the five days. Well, the, there are some, I think, that are uh, more, more of a tr right. trade-off. But uh, Magda... Remember, the guy actually gives you some bon some, yeah. some good stuff as well. All I'm going to say is I'm going to slaughter all names. So I'm going to avoid it as much as possible. The so Peshku, Magda, something? mistress of King Carol II. Almost Carolus. King Carolus. Uh, <laughs> Swedish. Uh, has reportedly purchased a new villa in expensive suburb of uh, Bucharest. How she could afford it was a subject of extensive speculation. New evidence for newspapers strong suggests that King himself authorized the purchase with government money. Yes. <laughs> the scandal is spreading. We must take public announcements on the matter as soon as possible. So, uh, the government has pursued the building and allowed Miss to be a residence. The King cooked money out <laughs> of an advance on his allowance. Yeah. <laughs> so, basically, you have a trade off. Uh, both of these give you King's expenses handled, which is. Uh, which is a spirit that basically kind of quiets things down for a while. Yeah. Or the king took out his money in advance. That's minus 90 billion power, so I'm gonna go with this one for 90 days. 20% increased consumer goods. Yeah. And there we can see the first example of a hot co code. Gets the event, doink. <laughs> yeah, I think God that's... Damn uh, it. I how think that might be us from the debug mode, actually. Oh. <laughs> how, how 12. <laughs> God damn it, so 50% of all our factories are currently... Yeah, I might have been... <laughs> um, I, I recommend maybe going with the um, monarchy stuff, so we get a lot of power. Yeah, um, I went with this on first for uh, no apparent reason. I don't know why I went this first, because it's completely useless for... Well, actually, short we could term anyway. Here. Yeah, we could go right here, yeah. actually, and just get a couple more military factories first. But this one might also be really good to grab. Yeah. Just as begin with. Yeah. I think I will pick this we'll one. We'll make after. the monarchy strong. Yeah. yeah. So and first, see the new spirit there. strong, and then institute royal dictatorship strong. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Him <laughs> with a bunch of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, this guy is very interesting to read about. Uh, doing research. He he was not very liked. There, there was a lot of scandals. Uh, Foreign princesses and stuff. Uh, all right. <laughs> 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 um, uh, the time has come to further increase King's all the extensive powers, bringing political stability to nation and enabling it to focus on threats from the outside. Yeah. I like that. Um, anything? Oh, actually, we could just look right here. We can see request license production. Yeah. Even though we won't do it right now, we can, can see, see what tanks we could do. We could not right now. Well, request. 
Panzer twos, but uh, yeah, they won't accept at least now. Yeah. So we might have to just go and ask Actually, them. Actually, let's check what our tech levels are at. Well, when, uh, when will we be interested in buying stuff? Because well, we know Germany is going to go medium tanks fairly early, right? Yeah, so we might want to try to just buy it from them instead of focusing on it ourselves, so we can, well, yeah. get our other tech in time. Yes. So it, do, it does cost a bot. Um, it does cost a bit, so it, it's preferential if we actually move closer to Germany before we do these kind of things. Okay. <coughs> so, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I would like to annex as many people as possible, as quickly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would. Because <laughs> we have a Soviet Union right here that usually is pretty mad and kind of wants this territory from me. Yeah. And I would very much like to keep it. So, I am... Yeah, well... You did decide not to go with the preserve Greater Romania path. No, no, no. So I mean, you, you might. Well, I asked the chat for it. So yeah. if this goes wrong, I will just blame chat. Um, king takes holiday in. <laughs> will one of the Romanian rulers still be the macabre monocle man? <laughs> yes, I love that guy. I come to buy his mistress and most of his inner circle. King the second had arrived nice in a holiday. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, nice. nice. Because it's nice. Nice, nice to be there. Um, Taking residence in the royal lounge of the Hotel Negresso. The king told local reporters that he intends to spend the next few weeks enjoying the finest food and hospitalities with visits to pl uh, planned the nice opera. See, it's nice and opera. It's a nice no, opera. I burned on that joke when I was there. Yeah, but I haven't done it yet. All and right. the chat is going to get super annoyed at me. So that's... <laughs> they that's said Balkan dominant, so I'm going to say nice to annoy them. And uh, short trips to Paris for shopping. Oh, really? For shopping? Spending even more money? Greedy. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> the local press have uh, asked pointing question about the timing of this visit, as well as where the money to pay for it is supposed to come from. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it's an official state. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, at some point here, you're going to have to burn political power. No. <laughs> <laughs> Your consumer goods will ruin you. <laughs> I don't care. We <laughs> I'm right. gonna fix it one way or another. Just for war gold times, at least now. But yes, um, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm actually want to just look through these all a bit quick. Oh, mm -hmm. gain a unit with seven two. Then I don't have to spend experience points. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, recruit population factor plus seven yeah, no, percent. If I remember correctly, the king actually had his own mm. guards uh, stuff being formed. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, what's this guy? Um, Leonidas Works, which grants armor research. Ooh, pretty cool one. So before we research any tanks, I should... Oh, actually, that's going to take uh, ages if you want to go all the way down there. Yeah, they have uh, some... Oh. Um, there, there's some interesting... Really? Yeah. OP. That got to be OP. If you have mountains. Yeah. Uh, get a mountain near you, nine... Oh, yeah, of course. To be fair, I mean, in the situation these countries are, I mean, s some good equipment is, is, yeah. is pretty worthwhile. Um, but Their I'm strengths are different than the default the tree, really. Yeah. But I'm really just thinking of this one. Revise the constitution. Mm. We get 1% recruit population right there. And... Wait, wait, is that for that special one? Or Camilla leader? Political advice, it costs minus 35%. Is it for one person or for everyone? I think that's for everyone. Come on. Is Actually, or is it... Does, no, I think it's for everything. So you get cheaper. <laughs> yeah, then we're going this one. I don't care what else. We're going that one. Yeah. Um, first of all... Um, all right, we can't change mobilization to either. <laughs> <laughs> Tooltip him. Let's see if we have any... So He's a hedonist with uh, some unity hits. It's all the party. Um, I guess we can at least go up to limited conscription. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So we actually get some extra manpower. Oh. Actually, that will be enough for 400,000, so we can continue Balkan dominance. Yeah. But, well, we need equipment too. God damn it. So, um, I need more output, so I think I will just go this one. Yeah. Um, I'm also first fixing this military factory right here, but then I'm going to upgrade the one with most spots to two more infrastructure. So, well, as soon as we finish this one, 20% on the most spots will be, well, more spots right there. Yeah. So, basically build infrastructure where we will have more spots in the future. Uh, missing... Pr no, I don't care. I don't care that this tank is right now missing. But We're it's... It's, it's hungry, Daniel. Yeah, but we, we're gonna... Or actually, it's not hungry. It's uh, Romania. We're gonna fix this later. Yes. But because... Going with tanks is pretty good as Romania, since you By have the way, oil. Uh, 
might be worthwhile if people haven't seen this trade interface update. Uh, yeah, one second, guys. Uh, let's see. Steal, steal, steal. I kind of want to steal something from some people. I guess... No, that's Czechoslovakia. God damn it. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go down in maybe Greece and Turkey. But that all depends on how long we can actually play. Oh god, I've almost wasted half this time just talking about the new DLC. I haven't had you'll time get to play uh, it. You'll <laughs> yeah, I'll get the... Continue. Shouldn't we have some ministers? Uh, no ministers? Or do you want to keep the PP around for the king? Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid of him. <laughs> well... <laughs> you made me scared of him. But you I was like, yeah, it's fine. But now when I see the bad modifiers, I'm like, I might have to fix that somehow. Have we removed this one yet? No. Oh. So we have two of these that is you going to You have until the 15th of August. Yeah, that's horrible. That is horrible. Uh, <laughs> let's double check. Yeah, infantry equipment, we really desperately need to fix this. Okay. So it's time to start trading for Full some steel. All yeah. uh, oh right, the new trading phase. We can. Oh, wait. What? The what what? We can't trade steel with them. We probably don't have any. So hot code, guys. Hot code. I think so. Are we missing something? <laughs> no, we can't trade. Ah, uh, well, you, you're gonna be in trouble then. Yeah. Go back to trade interface, let me just double check. So, available zero, you're basically... Don't have any factories available for trade. But I should have. Well, you've... How much is on consumer goods? 13 of them? Yeah. Actually, that might remove, but still, yeah. it shouldn't block Remember me from trading. Remember, you picked the consumer goods twice. Still, it shouldn't block me from trading. Let's double check right now. Okay, it blocked me for trading somehow. Yeah. Uh, we have to look into that. Uh, well, consumer goods goes before trade. Yeah, but I still had four factories to build with. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, we'll have to check it. Hot, Hot code. code. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, oh, this. I love this one actually. Before yeah. it was hidden completely, but yeah. now I can actually. We don't have enough. Convoys to trade for United States with two, but yeah. we can trade with United Kingdom for two. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we we uh, streamline this a bit so it's easier to see what, uh, how many convoys are required and stuff like that. Yes. So we're done right here. Uh, war or not? I still no. We're gonna pick this one. More recent slots. We need the four ones quite quickly. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll just get more and more behind tech. Yes, you can. You can. You can get a total of five. Um, military theorists. We have enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, let's pick that one. Nice I kind of want to have around 90 at least yeah. for the freaking king events that are expect to come now <laughs> and then. Uh, well. Spanish Civil War has finally arrived. Can we, can't we send some volunteers? Mm. No, we can't. All oh, right, world tension is 40% because we are still. Yeah, um, there might be. I don't actually remember if there's anything. I think maybe done when you. Guarantee, uh. no, that's cost. Hmm. Just search, scan everything a bit quickly. No, maybe, no. maybe there is no early way in for you. For the love of God, this come on. They, they lost, just disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you're going to have to actually think about this, yeah. right? King you, Row Lavish you, you Party. You surely you don't want another consumer goods. St like, I'm just thinking, right now, we are not producing very much, so losing 20% right now doesn't matter super much. Mm. But if it still, ah, I want to, I want to finish those. Yeah. Because otherwise, it won't really matter that we have more slots if we well no. don't build anywhere. No, that's true. All right. So despite being vetoed <laughs> by the king himself, <coughs> <laughs> the official coverage of the recent feast at the royal parish have caused great public dissent. Pictures of the king's mistress in expensive French evening gown and detailed description of seven course meal eaten from golden plates have further inflamed the population, who are still suffering from the after effects of the Great Depression. The king demands that we make a public statement of support at once. <laughs> yeah. The king must be allowed to be representative. The king's private matter are not the government concern. Mm. Go to hell now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish these ones. Yeah. Are you, so gonna, are you gonna kick him out? Are you, or are we gonna try and reform him? Well, uh, it just feels like he needs a mother's touch on the butt <laughs> several times <laughs> hard. Oh uh, well, we can do that. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> I actually have no idea if his mother was alive here. Yeah. 
We don't need to look that up. So, yes, more tech speed, please. I assume not due to his behavior. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 20%? Um, yes. You made no. early? Okay. Yes. Like, I always like to go production efficiency because that's basically a free increase. Yeah. It will still be the same amount of um, resources. It will be the same. It just bumps it up a tiny bit. And since it grows slower and slower, I want it as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, no Nash focus set, so we need to continue right now. So, do we, need, yeah, do we need to go with the flexible foreign policy yet? Or, or do you want to get boost up the industry? Military industry. Yeah. Because, well, I want to fix this at least before we can produce new troops. Yeah. And if we can't produce any new troops, we can't use these focuses. And this we need true. troops right now. Yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know me, I'm gonna vote for a loyal government. Yeah, and it seems like some people wanted. His mother died in 38, so... Alright, so... <laughs> Carol's mom, you should be should be watching this guy right now. Yeah. So, just industry, industry, industry. I think it's even more important to focus on industry, on smaller nations, than larger nations. Yeah. Because larger nations, they can attack war, they can... Oh! And the common turn pact, how do you feel about that? I don't really want to join. Yeah. But I want to get equipment from Germany. Yeah. So, is, is that our goal? We're going to uh, cozy up to Germany despite going with the, the Balkan path? No, what I really would like to do is right here, we have a nice front against uh, against Soviet Union, and we have a river right here. And if you, we manage to place German medium tanks this entire way, yeah. then I say let them come. Yeah. Let's because join. it's extremely hard to break tanks over a river and uh, let me see um yeah hills as i thought yep. well it's grasslands right here so not the best area yeah. so i might want to build like some forts right here yeah. and right here and then the hills yeah. would probably be enough yeah. over the it tanks. might be uh, worth zooming in a bit if people haven't seen the new updated ones we've done some new textures to make it easier to see so the hills actually stick out quite a bit more um i think it's very clear right here well, no, that's on the fog of war, but you, yeah, can, but toggle, you can toggle it off as well. Uh, right, uh, Next one. Oh, that was there. There you go. Yeah. As you can see, we have, we have mountains right here. We have forests. This should basically be grassland then, yes. Yeah. Um, we have more mountains right here. Yeah. Hills? No, that was also mountains. Yeah, you see these. Yeah, it's bad territory. I usually just assume, the, okay, the, it's the kind the of <laughs> The whole kind border, of gray the, the border there is basically... Yeah, it's like, uh, it's kind of grey and stuff, that means bad territory. Yeah. But yeah, let's join the Comic Con Pact. Yeah, Not because we want to, well, because we join the Axis. No, no, we don't hate yes. it. Just, we want German equipment. We long, long get the effects from King's expense handled, thank you, but that was basically plus minus zero power right now. Yeah. And you are done right here, so please build one more factory right here, thank you. Yeah. Uh, we do national defense industry. Come on, we need more time. Uh, wallpaper DLC. Wallpaper DLC. Well, I, I totally missed uh, that question. No, it, it seems like, will we have a wallpaper DLC or will they come with the Oh, you with the wallpaper for the DLC. We, we're not going to charge you money for wallpapers. Um, all yes. The, all of the monies. Yes. Consumer goods minus five percent. Yes. There you go. Uh, but uh, we we will uh, arrange some neat wallpaper eventually. It's not quite. I did not quite have time for today. But it, it will appear before release, so you can swag up your computers. Hmm. So here's a big question. Hmm. If should we waste or not waste and waste, but Use 150 billion power to go to all early mobilization right now, yeah. or wait until we actually can go to partial mobilization. I usually, really, <laughs> I just move this way because I need want to show. Really, here's some hot code by the way. It seems like <laughs> she's power dropping into Paris. <laughs> so yeah. Can can I just remove this event like to the other screen or something so we don't have to pick anything? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can wait. I for don't it. want that one. Anyway, um, what I was going to say was, I usually wait until I can go straight from civilian to partial mobilization because fascist, communist, or, m well, more than 50% yeah. world tension. So, Germany, if you would be very pleased to just be more aggressive. Oh, wait, this war. If that war ends... Uh, I've been balancing it, so it's going to take longer than before. Yeah, but... <laughs> so, so do, don't, don't bet on it finishing very soon. Yeah. 
Um, can't we just uh, it, it's still not major, historical links. Can't but, we just accidentally king, kill a king or something on a party, and that would raise the world tension because assassination maybe. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're the one doing industrial ones instead yeah. of handling the king here. <laughs> so French newspaper have been full of exports of Magda in Paris, where she reportedly indulging in expensive shopping. <laughs> really? Oh, if this removes oh, my. She, if she was <laughs> infamous for this. If this removes my consumer goods again, I'm gonna choke someone. <laughs> but you got five percent right now, right? No, it's still on its way. Oh. <laughs> What's this? Oh, Sentinel of the Motherland. Yeah. Uh, so, while this is not unusual itself, reports says enlisted help from the Romanian embassy to move a Persia and told source to send the bill to the Romanian government. I think we're going to tune down the frequency a little bit on these as well. I feel like maybe another another month in between or so. Are you sure you didn't tune it up just for me right now? And that was the editing you did uh, just now. No, we did, we did <laughs> tweak them a bit though. So uh, maybe we didn't tweak the, the frequency. They are more, a little bit more often than... <laughs> Hashtag Salty Daniel. Salty Daniel. Right. But maybe, yeah. We only have one factory right here that we want to build. In 90 days... Burn the PB. No. No, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> because I want to pick others up with it. Okay, what I so really want to pick is this one, silent work. Oh, right, oh, everyone is much cheaper. Oh, stupid Daniel, stupid Daniel. Uh, everyone is much cheaper. Yes. 97. Yeah. You know, this is really, really... It's super good, like, that's... Really that's, incredible. That's, that's, like, basically the strategy that you want to do, right? And now this? You want to keep the king around, fill up a sweet cabinet, and then handle him, right? That That's, that's the trick. So, uh, a new event, that's actually not... At least our party king or mistress oh, yeah. doing anything. H Hungary, it's yes. Hungary demands to rearm. Yeah, we try to do a lot of events with the different nations, and because they're next to each other, you actually <coughs> get to weigh in, and so we involve you in the other countries, even though you're not playing them as well. So that that goes for you know the allies and Germany and all that stuff during this period as well. So Hungary demands to the right to rearm. Uh, citing the ever worsening political situation in Europe and the complete failure of the League of Nations to stop this. Uh, he wants to support uh, neighboring Tel Aviv version of the Treaty of Trianon. Yeah. So uh, without yeah. and mentioning so, it. So hung claims. Hung Hungary is under this treaty, kind of similar to to Germany's, where they're not really allowed to um, to boost up their military or military production. Although just like Germany, they cheat a lot with this. Yeah. So uh, we have one person saying do not let them rearm, and one person saying let them rearm. So yeah. I'm gonna let people decide that. Yeah. Meanwhile, can we so show many the events options here? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, get event secures Romanian support for rearmament. Secures. Oh, yeah, we are sending an event to everyone yeah. right here. That but we didn't we want to go sort of axis? I mean, Hungary is likely to... Uh, yeah, uh, uh, but we, we let be... them... Uh, first of all, we can just show this, the territory that they can't walk in right now. Oh, yeah, this so is So we new, have yes. marked it with, well, one of these if you zoom borders. in a little bit more. Yeah, it's a pinkish, I would say, yeah. uh, border. So uh, this is one of the things, if you read, uh, read today's dev diary, I go over it in detail, but... Yeah, so um, basically, yeah. this entire impassable, area. Impassable, which makes Africa a lot more fun to play in. Yeah, you have... Um, and, I've uh, seen, I've it seen totally was not inspired by mods to do this. No, <laughs> no. It, so it's more of a real African campaign right now. Yeah, not tank divisions going straight down right here. But yeah, no, it's where, where, you know, it's much more concentrated fire uh, fighting. Also, if you look, go to like Tobruk. Wait, wait, it seems like Republic of Spain is gaining what? back some land. Maybe, uh, maybe they were maybe helped by the Soviets, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, you wanted to see... Quite often what happens is that the Soviets, uh, once they start sending stuff to, to China later and then it starts switching again. Yeah, if, if you go in here, you can see some real choke points going on here in Al uh, El Alamein. Yeah, that could be really horrible. And that could also be very easy to cut off if your ally just land right here. Whoop. Yeah. Cool. Um, so what was the really decision? I kind of missed I it. I'm not sure. I, thi I think people were like, not trust Hungary. Okay, then uh, they already plunged the world, the <laughs> world into war once already. So no, I will not let you rearm. Uh, we have more free, free family factories, so Ooh. let's do one right here. And your one efficiency right is almost all the way up now as well. Yeah. That's why I really want to keep both. Well, that's why I always go for the one a bit early, yeah. so it has time to re basically rebuild. Uh, we're still missing 7,000 equipment right here, so I'm going to put this one on half yeah. full. Then I want two lines right here, and you should be bumped down a tiny bit and get, well, four factories. 
So basically, just as soon as we get any more military factories, be assigned in that order. So here's um, more infrastructure, which is yeah. pretty Someone good. Someone was right asking now. what the restrictions was for taking His Majesty's loyal government here. Um, so requires all the following: align Hungary. So we need to grab well the four hundred thousand men, yeah. and then grab that one and fortify borders, and revise the constitution. So basically, all so th all. I like how you're role playing the king. You're not. Well, I guess you haven't taken fortified the borders, but no, you also haven't fortified the borders. <laughs> uh, let's see. What do I want to do? I think I want to just continue right here for now, mm -hmm. since I saw some. Yeah, here, steel. Yeah, I that, want that, 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 that will f that will help a lot. Yeah, and then, ooh, we yeah. get one of these. Yeah. Get the event for. So the, these are new event series that a lot of them have as well. Um, these are kind of like actually I don't remember this specific one, but there's event series with license production stuff like that where you uh, there's sort of competitions of, of whose stuff to buy and things like that. Cool. Um, but yeah, I think we'll go down right here. More civilian. Mm. More civilian. How much oil? Oh, 24, 24 oil. That's gonna be and one research slot. G Germany will like you if you pick that one. I kind of well. want to go down this entire path for five focuses. So uh, 14 yeah. to 80, 33, 350 yeah. days. We're going right to get there. you to that research, but it, it's quite far down. Uh, yeah, but it's kind of crucial also. All yeah. oh, right, we have also changed the modified for construction, right? Yes. Right now it gives 10... Is that in? You mean the, the, spread, right the spreading out? Yeah, that we have 10% of repair speed and construction speed. I actually thought I did that for I don't remember. 133. I don't remember. So that's I also don't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, otherwise, we are doing quite well right now. Oh, right, right. I once again forgot that we have cheaper advisors. Is this included? No. <sighs> These ones should be included. Uh, it's political ones. Yeah, but... Um, Technically, I mean, I guess the king could. I mean, he's the king. Yeah. I kind of want to go for this one, actually. It doesn't have an eye patch, though. No, but... <laughs> Like, I'm probably going <laughs> to pick both of them, but right now I just want as much yeah. power as possible. And 5% doesn't sound like much, but it's 5% at least. It adds up. It's 0 0.1. Uh, let's see, any more? Romania seems really powerful with this tree. I want to talk uh, to you, I want to say, wait until the Czechoslovakian tree. I well, really they like kind of one. need it, to be fair. Yeah, though. but I, I really like I, it. I nerfed it some, though. Yeah, I know, but I still really like it. Skoda is still fucking amazing. Yeah, but they will have to oh. wait two more. Are we gonna are we gonna say when we're gonna check out the other nations? We'll check out the other nations. <laughs> Next one's gonna Next be one. Hungary, I think, though. Next uh, one, Hungary. Or maybe we wait with Hungary. Um, we could even ask people when it's time. But uh, we we're gonna finish a little mini campaign with yeah. uh, Romania first. The new DLC. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Now is the big question. I kind of want to go for this. Actually, if I pick the second light tank, mm -hmm. will it be cheaper for me to lend Lee's medium tank one? No, um, that, that was actually our first uh, version of this. Okay. Uh, but what we went with instead <coughs> is that it depends on what the tech year of the tech. So, so if, if you're going to be licensing Germany, who say has gotten the, the medium tank ahead of time, that will be more expensive. It doesn't matter really what your tech level is. However, um, if, you do, if you license something, you get a research bonus to, to that kind of stuff. So, but that won't help you if you're going for medium tanks. But it might mm. be worthwhile, like, if you want your own medium tanks, or make sure your production efficiency is up. You might want to start off licensing medium tanks, then, and then, de switch then develop your own. own, or, you know. Okay. Yeah, then or if, there's, if our industry is strong enough, you can yeah. probably just keep building license S production. So I'm thinking something special right now. Mm -hmm. Instead of going anti-tank guns, we are going to go... Ex <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> <laughs> We're getting this all the time. <laughs> One more villa, really? Yeah. Um, well, I'm going anti-air <laughs> anti guns because they have a pretty good piercing value yeah. if you just get them high enough. So basically the first yeah, anti-tank have 75. And it's going to help us since we don't 60. using airplanes exactly. for this. So it's also going to help us with the airplane stuff. So hopefully we can get the good enough anti-air guns so they will yeah. help us against opponents' tanks along with our own tanks, and still counteract their air... Yeah. yeah. So, uh, how are you going to deal this? <laughs> I think I'm going to tune this down after the session, but... Uh, I, you kind of want to finish your production, man. But we don't... It's like, we can't even build... We have one good area to build in. Yeah. Actually, that's... Oh, actually, we can build two more factories right there now. Yeah. Okay, then we're actually going to take 
that one to lose bullet power. Yeah. Eight, yeah. Uh, actually, you have the guys gaining you more now as well. Yeah, so. exactly. So, um, Malaxa. Yeah. So, uh, why, why I went for this one instead of investing for mo motors is because um, you should actually pick that yourself and see the exciting thing that happens. I just want more civilian factories because I think I need to build up my nation now more. Yeah. I need all advantages I possibly can get since we are not in that good of a position right now. No. Well, it so, depends. Uh, for Sh everyone. Surely nothing oh. will happen in Europe, right? No. <laughs> 960 people right now. Nice. Watching a new Death and Dishonor DLC for Heart Slime. Yeah. Hot, very, very, very hot code. So Su Super hot code. Stuff. Villas might be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, that's that's why the code is so hot they burned down the first villa and yeah. needed one new uh, all right yeah so we're building some some military there and uh, hmm. I'm thinking you, you can trade now yeah but I'm thinking do I want to I don't know if it's worth it shouldn't you actually I I'm only gonna stay at five right here yeah that should be enough hmm. How no, bad are your division templates? Are we going to need to start gaining some XP somehow? Or? We have 15. That's why I usually go for this one quite early. If you just yeah. pick that one super early, I don't do it for the land research doctrine time, actually. I do it for the arm experience one. Yes, then I can wait here, not train my troops, and still get enough experience yeah. to do this small modification. The doctrine is a nice do. bonus, especially for countries with multiple slots, yeah. though. Otherwise, we're going to continue going down right here. So, some might have a problem with why you're not producing any tanks, but still going down this path. Yeah. We still get the modifiers, well, the tactic, the planning speed, the division speed, organization loss when moving, delay, all infantry and motorized mech. This is just 15% organization. That just means they can fight that much longer, and it's really, really good. Yeah. And then we have elastic defense, which is, well, reinforced rate plus 2%. So even if we don't go very heavy on tanks and motorized, it's still a pretty goddamn good yeah. start. Do you like reinforced rate? Yeah, I, I love it. Mm. It's like that's one of the most powerful things I think. Yeah, it's a little it's a little secret. It's one of those things like, that you don't necessarily notice until you know how it works. Especially if you play like this, X cube, then oh, it's yeah. even more powerful because then the AI they don't do all the coordinated attacks. Like you can very easily say, I want these units and these attacks at the same time right here, so everyone engage mm. in the battle at the same time. But if you just execute the button, that is important that when the AI, yeah, first attacks right here, then attacks right here, it needs the quick reinforcements. Yeah, so also, also when you're cycling stuff along a border yeah. where you're defending and things like that. Yeah, so I would almost say reinforcement rate is a buff towards, well, executing orders. Yeah. And I pressed away that event really quickly because that's an old event. <laughs> I, to I totally feel like we should do an Emilia Earhart version though, where she goes off with the king. No. <laughs> well, I, I already have... Steal your money. I, no, no. I already have my favorite event that I want us to do with her. Uh -huh. That she's the one causing the Hindenburg. That stuff. But because <laughs> she crashed into it and then... No. That was that's why it happened. Uh, okay. We finished this one. So, sweet, sweet, sweet steel. Come to me. Yes. Uh, actually, we should maybe even check the description. We must ban domestic automobile industry so it may easily convert and appropriate for military purposes when required. To this end, our business tycoons have some rather interesting ideas that could make use of on and this one. To feed the needs of our arms production, the great seal works in Beberesa must be modernized and drastically expanded. Yes. Since so we, have, we have flavor, if you just know where to look for it. And yeah. I think it's... Couldn't we... Did it drop? Yeah. Nothing is going right for me this game. I think I will just leak. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> How about... Uh, yeah, Come no, on, finish this war. I want to pick the next. <laughs> well, it's, it seems to, they seem to be crumbling now, though. Yeah, but it seems to be harassing. Because they, they lost the whole southern part now. Okay, King's Expansion is no longer handled, so I'm just waiting for the next event to pop any second now. <laughs> So, how far off are we really now to start going with the handling event here? Uh, handling... Yes. Because uh, um, I actually don't remember what happens uh, to him right away. Or? What do you mean? Um, if you want to go down to the... Oh, the, the king. Or, you know, this way rather. The loyal government, say. Oh, yeah, we need to do all three of these, but we are not 
we have not produced a single troop right now. Yeah. So or on yeah, Mistilius we'll 250. Yeah, and we need quite a bit. Yeah. And for that we need equipment, but it's finally looking better. And the, uh, the Balkan dominance might not be the easiest one, by the way. As good as this really feels now, I want troops right now, and they're more critical. So yeah. I'm gonna do this. I mean, we're gonna be using diplomatic in pushing here, so... Yeah, but we still need an army to be able to poke them. Oh yeah, we, but we don't necessarily need a ton of artillery on them, right? No, exactly. Right now we need a base army. When it needs to fight, then... Well. Yeah, now they're... Steel you can actually Thank open you. up the Spanish Civil War war interface. Uh, one second. Yeah, this is very nice. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, Spanish Civil War, war interface. Yeah. Current wars, click. Yeah, and this is a little new stuff as well. We're showing uh, complete oh, right. losses this. and complete manpower, which I is love super awesome. I love and it. factories as well. And you uh, can see nationally Spain has the massive advantage now. Yeah. In, oh, wait, uh, I haven't actually seen this one even. Oh, no, it's awesome. Nice. But you can see the the Republican ones are way behind now. Yeah, even and though they have many more divisions. Except the casualties. <laughs> yeah. They have more divisions, but they're, they're, they're weak and like they've taken a lot of casualties. Uh, cool. Let's now... Co Come on, just finish this war. Yeah. Cool, we have some anti-air guns. I really like anti-air guns for one very specific reason. Can you uh, guess why? Until you run into better tanks. Oh. Only steel. Yeah. No, it's it's poor poor man's anti anti <laughs> tank. So let's just begin with it right away. Uh, right here, let's see. Mm. Can't, can't hurt. No, let's get that one first. Reinforce rate. Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, we ne we need to maybe. <laughs> She's back in Paris. <laughs> we maybe need to. Yeah. Put it down I, I think I bandit. think when we we tuned up the variations, we forgot to cut the time by four. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, well. Well, it will just be a nice extra penalty yeah. for me. Uh, let's see, we have some questions as well. Um, we'll be able to create manual borders for puppet states. Uh, not for this uh, expansion, but it's one of those things that we've been talking about for a long time doing. It is actually technically incredibly difficult. We spent about an hour, uh, uh, spent about a week before release trying to figure out a way to do it. And uh, it is quite difficult, uh, so we sort of put down for a later, uh, later expansion when there is, you know, more stuff to do with, with um, occupying areas and things like that, perhaps. There's also a question about Scandinavian national focuses. Uh, I feel like that's one of those uh, packages that would go really well, a country pack with, with like Sweden, Norway, Finland. Um, that would go uh, quite well. They're all in a so in kind. They're in a similar position, but they they all very different things happen to the different countries. And of course, Sweden war profiteering. Finally, something good. Woo! Yep, Japanese war at the same time. Yeah. Bumped it to. Let's see. Fifteen. Is it perfectly fifteen? I think it might actually be exactly fifteen. Yeah. <sighs> so, you can always count so on my smart Japanese. plan right here was to pretend that I missed the opportunity and just waited for that war to begin. So uh, we could go straight away to partial mobilization because that's the right focus. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> very nice, very nice. That was really lucky. Um, I want to increase, let's see, 60, 60, 60. This oh. is four. That's four. That's oh. two. Okay, then, oh, this is five. Yeah. Then, but that's four infrastructure I have to build right here. Then. And this is the one that might disappear to Soviet Union. Yeah. Hmm. See. Then I think I will just upgrade. Well, yeah, we're upgrade almost right. up to 1,000 viewers now. Oh, cool. Yeah. 995. Okay. Yeah. Five more. Uh, Tell your friends. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, there's some other I questions we'll as well. Uh, will there be new them. achievements? Yes, there will. Uh, I'm not going to reveal them yet, though. Will I be an achievement? I don't think you will be. <sighs> Maybe. Uh, we haven't decided two of them yet, so... Ooh. Ooh. Um, then we need to figure out something oh. weird. Apparently Twitch is showing over a thousand, so it's our internal thing that's lagging. Oh, the... Yeah. Um, Chinese United Front. Yeah. Unstable lines. So, um, well, my AI stuff should also be in. Yes. So, uh, um, I've been modifying a tiny bit of production stuff to dance liking, so... Yeah, if they're you're actually if beating you're China a little bit too fast now. We need to buff China some more, actually. Yeah, but... Um, 
if you ever play Japan, I did, I did this was just a fun story I wanted to share. So I was modifying how China were producing stuff. And um, I went away for 15 minutes, grabbed some coffee, talked a bit, went back and checked China's losses. They were like at 6 million losses <laughs> after a it's year. They still won though, right? Or no, no, they lost, that? they lost. Yeah. But 6 million losses in 15 minutes I was away. I was like... Speed 5. Holy the shit. The killer of men. <laughs> Oh yeah. man, the uh, the Republicans are still holding out. Yeah, and they're actually sneaked by right here, but I think they were cut yeah. off quite quickly. But they're fighting on the edge right now. Yeah, they're gonna fall, they're, any, they're second gonna right fall any second now. And now we finally have enough equipment, so... Yeah. There's a question about capturing enemy equipment during battles. Um, that's not something we have. It's definitely something we would like to do in the future. Um, We've been toying with the idea of having, say, maintenance companies being allow you to, to do this to a greater extent. Ooh. What we have done, though, is that we have... Um, actually, that was one free free, maybe. When people capitulate, you actually get the equipment now rather than uh, on surrender. And we actually made a new little neat pop-up where you can see all the loot you get, which I love. Can we still loot Aerodon? No. Oh. But it's almost as good as the loot wagon from, from EU Rome. Still the greatest feature of all time. What? A loot, loot wagon? wagon? It's before your time. <laughs> then please it's the first game I worked on here. At, well, actually, you free, but... Uh, yeah. Please tell me the story of the loot wa wagon. While <laughs> not a lot of uh, exciting things happen. Okay, well, um, as you say that, the Anschluss of Austria. Yeah. I, I guess we saw that one coming. Southern Germany. Yeah. No, um, Rome... I don't know if you ever played Rome. But I did, played it very little, yeah. like two hours. There's a... Um, there's a mechanic where barbarians come off from um, un, uh, from from <laughs> the edges of the map and all sorts, and they actually accumulate. They have a little wagon of loot, uh, and they, as they steal shit, um, they fill their wagon with loot. So when you finally defeat them, uh, you you get to take the loot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to do a huge sock talking about oh. because. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's continue right here. So we're gonna go on with Spearhead still, like, even though we don't I have think any. You're being cruel, Daniel. Yeah, but I like it. Um, so, hello Germany. Do you have any medium tanks yet? No. God damn it. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the medium yeah. tank. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just spent my police power on other stuff. Uh, you know, you have the coup button. You have the coup button. You can coup him. I'm producing only. <laughs> Fine. I don't remember where you lose that. You lose out on a bunch of the nice <sighs> stuff, though, if you do it early. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't want to do it just yet. Uh, one more restart, yeah. please. And what's actually the last one right here? Oh, oh God. We're already at 38. Yeah. We basically have done, not done Some, someone, so, someone wants Victoria 4. I'm not sure what happened to 3, but... <laughs> well, in my own chat, we are like at, like, Victoria 23 or something. Because we, as soon as someone mentioned it, we cancelled the last one because it was yeah. too casual. No, well, uh, oh yeah, I have Victoria Free at home. I just keep it to myself. Oh, you know? come on, Dan. <laughs> so, so you're right. <laughs> if but, if um, we ever make another one, it'll be four or yeah. twenty. And I, um, we'll, I heard we're also thinking of uh, mobile, free to play. Free to play, yeah. Get uh, your friends to be pops in your country. Oh, that would actually on. be kind of cool, though. No. <laughs> 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 um, industrial concern, please. Oh, actually. Yeah, you need more. Um, do votes really change anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Restock in available. Mm, let's continue yes. right here. Uh, we have a bunch of troops. Basically, I just want stuff out now. Our army will be 400,000 when all of these are deployed, so I'm actually going to be a bit sneaky. As soon as this one is done, I'm going to forcibly deploy everyone so we can take the Hungarian focus. Because I really want to go down that path before the Are you on historical focuses? The air yes. actually checks your strength, but they're way nicer on historical. Yeah, but, well, I'm still going to have some pretty good units. It's just, it'll be basically five troops being deployed a tiny bit too early. So uh, now we can finally go for a line hung, or should we do Puppet Bulgaria? Uh, I f uh, remember it leads to all that delicious stuff in Greece, though. Yeah, that's the one, well, that's the one that I was thinking. But it depends how long oh. you can deal with the with the mistress here, uh, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, if you, unless you get yeah, the party, uh, must end. We're removing him. <laughs> She's going away as quickly as possible. 
Um, I'll actually go and go some excavation because, well, I want to yeah. exploit as much as possible. I think we're actually. Uh... No, no, there's no time. <laughs> uh, actually, there is time. That's one I would say. Uh, we're I not gonna stop. I don't know if we have anything right after us or if we, we, we were go surely over late five minute. minutes or something. Were we? Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I want. I want. I want at least finish this one first. Yeah, we okay for five more minutes. Okay, cool. Where are you going? Check the freaking. What? Alert. <laughs> oh, you weren't fast enough. <laughs> oh. Really? Wait, man. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of a race there. So, um, never mind, I fixed it. Oh. Never mind, I fixed it. <laughs> I fixed it. You might, you might have to... Uh, th this might actually be harder than you, uh, nah, than you thought. And then this right away after. <laughs> yeah. If we cut down those though, you could have probably <laughs> made this way faster. So yeah. it would have been okay. But right now... Yeah, hot, co hot, hot code. Hot so code. Still being balanced. <laughs> uh, King 100 Defiant. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Everything is just going against me right now. Despite the clear inferiority in armed forces, though. Yeah, victory is certain. Oh, so despite the clear inferiority of armed forces, has refused to recently reason or this army take up defense position along the border. For, for reasons unknown, it appears significant part of their army has followed these orders. Look, it look, seems like they want to look. Make. Look at the second one. Yeah, this is not worth the effort, time, or effort, or victory is certain to war. We could destroy Hungary instead. Yeah, we're destroying Hungary. I Let's go for this. it. They have... Uh, well... Maybe you should check their military strength first. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! They oh, yeah. go down. Yeah. We did not allow them to rearm. Oh, they tried oh, secret oh, armament, but... Hot, well. hot code. <laughs> ah. It's hot code. Now they're going down. Before when this stream, I refuse to do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> They're going down. I want something good to happen to me. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, we don't have an air force. Do you mind yeah. to hold me back? So it might actually be hard to push here. No, what never mind. Alright, so just in case, I'm just gonna play this myself and not use order <laughs> because I need to do com hard attacks at the same time at several positions. So I actually have bonuses. I want one I love of you. your backpacks though. They're awesome. Nice. You right here. Oh, actually, you right here and you right there. So this should be the best possible way of breaking currently. Yeah. Uh, one, oh, right, right. One unit needs to back off. One unit needs to back off right here. So they are not having the penalty. Uh, multiple combat engaged. Right. We are kind. Come on, just break them. Yeah. Let's see how much. Uh, do you have right, any. You don't have right any anti air on this. Uh, no, these not missions, yet. right? Come on, break. Oh, cool, cool. Oh, now we need to really exploit that one. Going like this. Reach it. You attack right here, you go in right here. Just get over the three bird, it's super important. You're yeah. gonna follow that up. Come on, okay, you're going in right here. You, this mountaineer, go in right here. Could maybe brought some of the cavalry through into this hole. Ah. They're tied up in the north. Now you attack right here, you go in right here. So basically I'm just trying to keep them busy on both sides so I can... They won't have time to go back to the capital. <laughs> I think we act activated Hardcore Daniels. So shut <laughs> Down! So, I'm happy with this campaign now. Woof! 54, that was, that, that was fast. <laughs> so, 54,000... Wait, 54,000 yeah. equipment. Huzzah! Now we can continue this campaign next week. That was good. I, I wonder if this was an opportunity because you actually went against their rearmament? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> and we are guaranteed by United Kingdom, which is an excellent thing. That means I can go more mad because yeah. they like me more. Yeah. So Germany, we might say go to hell to you too. Oh, but but I wanted like Romanian Panthers. But we might, yes, might. Because land lease, fancy free. Yeah, see there. They will not accept. <laughs> No, um, you, you need some better <laughs> relations. Yeah. But uh, you can get a bunch of relations and stuff. Yeah, for and the, I noticed for, for we had focuses. some... Oh, right, I completely forgot about focuses right now. Yeah. Uh, oh, this one, improve relation cost maintenance. So you I'm actually have quite a bit of political power yeah. now as well. But I'm going to pick that one just as a... Yeah. We are going that way. And I'm going to finish this off with... We should probably pick this one. Infantry expert. <sighs> uh, anyway, let's pick this one. Let's say... 
this was the first look at um, the new DLC, Death and Dishonor, and we are playing as the Kingdom of Romania. We have a freaking party king and <laughs> mistress and, uh, that just builds. She has so many villas <laughs> now. <laughs> why, why is she spending all that time in yeah, Paris? Because we make, if you pick the option that the government pays for it, you get the civilian factory, which is the mansion. <laughs> What do you mean? You produce stuff in the mansion? Or actually, when you go to uh, war, you convert all the mansions. To there, there are there are some variants actually. <sighs> They're just not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, very yeah. cool. Um, oh, feedback gaming is here. Oh, cool. hello, feedback. Hello. And um, yeah, thank we you guys for your. Blame blame Daniel for not <laughs> being able to showcase any more Hungarian <laughs> stuff. Screw you, Hungary. Screw you, Hungary. Anyway. Um, Thank you guys for joining us for this first look of um, Death and Sonor. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this first. Yeah, look and you'll it. get to see what happens with Warmonger Hardcore Daniel next week. <laughs> if that's going to happen. So yeah, yeah, I enjoyed this. Hope you did. See you later. See ya.